Hello there, it's Hayley with Armageddon Report once again. We're taking a look at lastearthquake.com today, you know, just cause. So here are the most, the 10 most recent earthquakes. There's one over there in a word I cannot pronounce, Kapaluain, to loud. I'm just gonna go with that, I have no idea, but somewhere over there. Three hours ago, let's find out. Did anybody feel that one? Did you feel it? Don't know. No responses. Right, so that's what's uh, going on earthquake-wise. And of course, unsurprisingly, the chunk of the, the most recent earthquakes, California and Alaska. And look, one in Washington. Oh, a huge, a whopper of an earthquake. 0 0.2, I bet everybody felt that one. Severe weather-wise today. We have, because I believe as of yesterday, this was the only slight risk, so we've got as of right now, of course. Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky, also a slight risk today. So let's break it down in the probabilities. So this is a severe wind potential. So there's your slight risk there with the 15%, slight risk there with another 15%. Hail is where the significant chance is, and that's limited to this area. So we've got the 15% chance of hail, and then within the black hatched area is the chance where the hail or the enhanced chance, because, you know, significant hail could fall anywhere, but it's actually, like, indicated in the models or whatnot that significant hail could happen. I don't know how to phrase that. Anyway, so that would be one inch hail or larger, all of these areas, and then this black hatched area is two inches or larger. That your car will take a serious beating, but I think the record is, what, like six inch hail? And that will like conk you out on the head real good or bad depending on if you want to use the word you know take it from the hail's perspective or the human's perspective then it's real good or real bad anyway tornado chance as high as five percent today and that almost looks yeah that's basically where you might have the most significant hail you might also have a tornado period you know a tornado is significant in and of itself right tomorrow got another slight risk area and also got the significant chance again. So what do we have here? We have the 30% risk and then the black hat area. Let's go back and let's look evening. Let's look for the word tornado, tornado threat. Try to find, it's probably a hail thing again. I don't know, I'm just making that up. I don't actually know. Right, and then a 5% chance out there on the coast. What's up with that? And then day after tomorrow, also known as day three or March 20th, depends on, you know, how you like to pronounce things, I don't know. Anyway, no significant chance indicated there, but as high as a 30% again. So righto, you should totally pay attention today or what not. And tomorrow and every day to WickedWix, W-I-C-K-E-D, W-X.com, weather.gov or whatever your favorite weather site is just you know have a go or something and look at it from time to time you know make sure you're up on what's happening so that you don't get surprised when that first hailstone conks you on the head and enjoy the weekend